This is Tanya Lee of Harmonia. Welcome to an all signs read. This is just for the air signs, just for the air signs. This is part of the midweek reading over at harmoniafriends.com. If you would like to become a member at Harmonia Friends, it's pretty simple. All you just have to go is to my website and uh, then you can become a member over there. It is a paid area, but you get access to the entire vault of content over there. It's not just readings. It's not just readings. Come on over. We would love to see you there. All right, here we go, air signs. Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters. Spirit, what is going on for the collective, specifically our air signs? What do they need to know? Just take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't force any of this to fit. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, what do you need to know in this energy? Ah, wow. Aliens is here. We got a uh, Ripley here with the egg. She is my favorite female hero. Favorite. Hands down, Ripley is badass. I love Ripley. All right, let's see what the book says about Ripley. Or aliens, more likely. I just need to find it in here because apparently I can't um, find it in this book. Give me a second. Here we go. God, was it in 1979 this movie was made? It's by Ridley Scott. Oh, God, it's moving right towards you collective. It's not always clear that we're only at the beginning of a situation, air signs. The stranger the circumstance, the less able we are to predict the way it can evolve over time with potentially shocking results. Gut-wrenching decisions may be forced upon us when we have limited means with which to respond. But any new encounter, no matter how awful, can prove to be a crucible that helps us recognize our inner strength. Take care when peering into the unknown air signs. And living in fear may limit your potential. So it's kind of a dual warning, you know? You never know when those things are going to pop out either on your face. <laughs> Those aliens. All right, let's see what else is going on here with um, with uh, the egg card here. Uh, there's something here that is, uh, I don't know. I feel like you're almost taking a risk here, air signs. There's something about uh, it being risky, but just be very careful and cautious in the direction that you go. There's something about being careful. All right, but, you know, you may be the person who's too careful and doesn't take enough risk. I mean, it goes both ways. It does. Oh, well, when it comes to love or choices and partnerships, Gemini energy, well, that does take a lot of care, doesn't it? Now, this is going to be different because we don't know what kind of partnership this is. We don't know what kind of choices is based upon this. And it doesn't have to be romantic, but it is a choice. It's a decision to partner. Um, interesting how it's lovers and egg and it's almost like a creation um don't let this one eat your heart out though i mean this this this, this connection could eat your heart out it could be something foreign right it could be um something using you but if, this may be fears of you being used again why do i feel like i'm a fair i'm afraid to be used well be cautious on your choices when it comes to partnerships is the title. Well, it will be something like that. I'm sure I'll rewrite it a thousand times because that's what happens after I look at this. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to focus on Libra's energy first. Libra is up. Um, Timestamp this. Reversals aren't up yet. We're using the vintage deck now. What's going on with this partnership? This choice that Libra has to make. Hmm. Well, that's deader than dead. This is the most uncomfortable card you can have, right? But it's actually a good card because it's a 10. It's like dead. It's done. 
done. I got a Libra here who's done with their past, done with the heartbreak, um, building new foundations. Um, looking across here, okay, um, this is this is a card about what's ahead, but being very patient on what you build. You are very cautious when it comes to making decisions and choices revolving your life here, Libra. Um, probably because of the amount of pain you've been through. I mean, this is... This is like, how the hell did I get up from that? But you did. Some of you, you got up and it took three, there's something about three months or three years. I mean, this is something that's been building. Uh, you've been building something here, Libra. Oh, yeah, you're worth Empress energy. There you are. Taurus energy too. Libra and Taurus energy here, okay? And there's, this is, this is someone here who's... It's funny how we have the empress here who's all about birth and fertility and, you know, she's typically pregnant and then we have the egg here. But I feel like you've had some bad eggs in your life, uh, Libra. And I do feel this energy of being overly cautious when it comes to connections. Overly cautious. Hmm. Hmm. Reversals are up. Medusa is up. <laughs> this is the Medusa deck. Let's see what's going on here for this Libra. What's going on for this Libra who is building on something very cautious in life. Um, what does this Libra need to know? Oh my God, you got the Ten of Swords here reversed. Two tens now. You know what? Whatever this was, this is something that I feel like you say to yourself, I will never forget or I'll never get over that, that betrayal or that hurt or that version of me. I'll never get over that version of me is how I hear it. Temperance. Um, an egg. Look at this again. The egg again. Alignment, Sagittarius energy. You have really been patient um, when it comes to realigning your values, your belief systems, your life. I feel like there is something here that is more aligned, but you also utilize this past event not to nurture something, but to stay, to remain balanced. You are remaining balanced because of that. That That's something that's, I feel like you wear this almost like a scar. It feels like a scar, doesn't it? Six of wands, you are doing well. Holy crap. Um, this is recognition. This is like, yeah, I wore this as a motherfucking scar. Sorry for my cursing. I forgot this is public. <laughs> Hope I don't get demonetized. This is, this is someone, this is a Libra here who, uh, Is, is going through something massive. Um, it almost feels uh, like this is a change, almost like a, I mean, this could be all of a sudden a glow up, a blow up, um, really doing well in business, really doing well in life. Um, gosh, I mean, I really feel like this is a really, I don't even know what else to say. You have a lot of positivity coming your way. Um you have been really good about balancing your fears and what comes towards you. You, you take, take your time, but there is something specifically about this past. And I do want to connect on that. That is allowing you to, to have some kind of success here, but it's taken time. It's taken time to nurture when you think of it. I mean, think of the Empress, right? She's what nine months pregnant, you know, it's taken time. It, it's it's uncomfortable, but at the same time, there's beauty in this. And there is a lot of beauty coming here for this Libra. Oh, my gosh. The Ace of Swords. You're cutting out the bullshit. You're speaking the truth. You're being authentic. Um, your word is, is authentic. You are remaining. I feel like a lot of you, and you may be influencers, or you just speak from the heart that is truth. Hmm. Oh my gosh. And then we have the King of Swords here. That's your energy, Libra. Um, 
this is somebody here who doesn't wear their heart on their sleeves, right? Um, who protects their heart as well. And that's what the King of Swords does, but you're all business. This is a, this is a Libra who means business, even when it comes to the heart, the heart of the matter, right? You do have scenarios that are going to come up here that are going to test you in crossroads. But I do feel, and I'm seeing that with the two of swords here, I do feel whatever this is that's coming, look at this, glow up, more Sagittarius energy. You are going to be able to persevere. You're gonna, it's going to allow you to be more confident, choosy, picky, passionate. But your passion and your drive is definitely because of whatever you've been through. Um, congratulations. I mean, this is a really positive reading. What is that Queen of Wands looking at here? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Six of Wands again. Six, six, and two tens. I'm ending this one. This is the most, I mean, we started off with a reading today with Libra, and Libra's in there, like, on their high horse. Congratulations, Libra. There, are, there is an um, um, immense amount of success coming through here. And some of you, this is just self-success, self meaning self-love. But you are going to feel more confident and braver in any direction that you go. This is decisions that you're going to be making on your own. And then when they involve other people, you're going to take your time to really pick and choose who is by your side. And there is a particular option coming up for you. Choice. And I do feel like you're aligned enough where it's going to be, ju it's just going to be successful. Spirit's reminding you, it's going to be successful. You trust yourself now. Trust. This actually reminds me a little bit of, um, a piece that I did last night called trust. Um, it's in my vlog area. All right. So that's what we have for Libra. I'm going to clear the deck. I'm going to pause this real quick. You can go to the timestamps if you have Aquarius or Gemini in your charts and I will be right back. All right, Aquarius, let's see what's going on with this choice, the choices that you're, the cautious choices you're going to be making here. What is going on for the Aquarius who will be resonating with this? Let us see what's going on with this. No reversals yet. Initial story play. Here we go. Well, you're on a journey. Uh, you know, this is someone here who's ready for a chance, who's ready for growth and prosperity and opportunities. Uh, this is new though. It's page energy. So it's young energy. Um, I don't know why I feel young. I feel young at heart right now. There's something that makes you feel young right now. It could be a connection. Mm. It almost feels like you're a student again, the higher font. You're ready to learn. But some of you, you've learned the lessons and it's time to become the teacher role here too, because the Taurus energy is of counsel. Um, this is strong belief systems. This is guidance. This is a contract. Uh, you are definitely having a youthful approach to a contract of some sort. It could be commitment. Um, yeah, <laughs> could be commitment. I mean, this is what it is. This is a long, I, I feel like, I mean, that's security. I mean, it's a 10 of pentacles. This is security. This is home front. This is community. Uh, you may be ready to step in the role here as student to teacher or student to be committed to school schooling of some sort. And if not, it's community and others of you, this is flat out a relationship, a, a committed relationship, love. Okay. But it's new love. Um, you, you are having a youthful approach to this, but we have the egg here. So I do feel like there's past fears here of it going to shit too. Hmm. Let's see what's going on here for Aquarius. Mm, the Empress reverse. That's Libra and that's more Taurus energy. Uh -huh. 
that's someone here who may not be well, fully taking care of themselves. Three of Swords. <sighs> not over heartbreak. We have an uh, Aquarius here who is... I mean, you have a new approach here, but the problem is, is that you look upon things as pretty negatively when it comes to um, what's around you, what services you. Maybe you've been used by others before. Maybe in the past you have been used. I mean, there's a feminine energy, but I feel like it's wounded feminine energy. Um, could have been an individual who was... Uh, well, didn't really take care of themselves or didn't take even care for the fact of this connection or this relation. It doesn't have to be romantic, but I feel like this is something where someone really toyed with your heart. Um, you let them in in this space. And there's something that is coming up right now that is is looking upon that. It is. It's looking upon that. Um, but the Three of Swords is someone who's not ready Mm -mm, justice reversed. He's not ready. Libra energy. I have an Aquarius here who is a little unbalanced. You actually may be having some financial hardships right now as well. But if it's not financial, I feel like there's something here where you've been off balance because of relationship that you were committed to in the past. Okay. Whatever it was, you're trying to play catch up. I have an Aquarius here who's playing catch up. At the same time, there's this brand new opportunity that is smack right here that feels good, that is is a lot of happiness, but it's it's having that youthful approach. And I feel like it's like, uh-uh, nope, nope, no, pans up. You know, no, no, no. You can't you can't do this yet till you get over this. I can't have this until I get over this. I got an Aquarius saying, I can't have this till I get over this. Ah. It's like it needs to be cracked open, wide open. Hmm. What's the advice here we have for Aquarius who resonate with us? No reversals on the advice portions. There's a time of reflection here with that Virgo energy here. My gosh, are you? It, this is someone here who's being very methodical and to leaving to the, they're they're in their own head about putting effort or starting something, but then watching watching something grow. Oh my gosh. They're just thinking about it. This is a person here who's thinking about putting effort in, but not doing it. Oh, they are. They're thinking about it. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So I got some. Oh, my gosh. I have so many messages here and stories. Let's start with story one. If you got burnt out at a job or a relationship that you were very committed to, okay, you put a lot of time and effort into. Okay, it was not balanced. Uh, this place or this person did not. I mean, you could have been divorced from this person. You could have gotten fired from the situation. But whatever it is, right now, you're in contemplation of something new in front of you. But you know that once you get started, it's going to be work. Like you are focused on it. And I think in the past, you have been focused too much on what others do. You know, it's like, oh, I'm going to put, I'm going to put gung ho, this much effort into it that you lose yourself. You lose yourself. That's what it is. You lose yourself in these connections or you lose yourself at a job or you become a slave to it. And so you are kind of stepping back saying, mm, I want to approach this differently. And that is healthy. That is a healthy way of saying that you want to approach it differently here. But what else does spirit want to tell you for this advice? I want you to see these cards and they're not. I need to change the camera angle to this. This is kind of free for all today. What is with that advice that spirit wants to remind them of? That's having an open heart. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, energy with the King of Cups. Someone who's very loving, but is also 
um, expressive, expressive with communication. And this communication is about the broken heart and this. So there is something here where I feel an Aquarius, and there's your energy here with the Queen of Swords. Um, it's time to put this to rest. But there's something about you stating that I need to put this to bed. I need to put this to rest. It's allowed me to grow. It's allowed me to independently see my worth. It really has. The Nine of Pentacles is someone here who really, um, you know, is recovering, has recovered. And there's something where you may be recovering or still recovering or saying that you, you've you been in recovery. But financially and where you are at, even if it's not that great um, or it's tight, you're doing it. You're making it happen. Um, you're able to have a roof over your head. You're able to wake up every day. And Spirit's reminding you that this pain doesn't mean that you can't have something new and it's going to go bad again. It's to have that approach. And there is something specifically about communication and a separation here about what's in front of you. Okay. Um, B, if this is, if this is um, a new opportunity, a new job venture, or that you, especially if this is something where it's self-employment for you, this is going to be a long one for Aquarius. I have so many, <laughs> just, just what it is. Aquarius is getting a big reading today. Um, if you have been on halt of not starting something on your own, Spirit is saying it's time to express and show how you have gone through the pain. And some of you, you're, it's time for you to step up and be the influencer. Self-employment is huge here. But if there is something where there is an opportunity to learn something new or to collaborate or form a contract, with a new place, there's something where you just need to really vocalize what didn't work out in the past and what you independently want to bring at the table. This is open communication, a hundred percent open, being honest, right? Here are the facts, here are the facts, but also I'm going to have, a. am being very open and vulnerable with you as well. Okay. Or the situation, same thing. If this is a relationship, it's being very open and vulnerable that, you know, yes, I want to start this, uh, but you know, this is, this is a big change this is a big change for this Aquarius. So the more authentic you are, the more you make peace with the fact that this past was the past. Um, and it's taking a new approach with this, whatever this new venture is, or this new person is it's to treat it as though it's brand spanking new and get excited about it. And same thing if this is self-employment, holy crap, that was a long message for Aquarius. <laughs> but it's apparently, you guys got dual messages. All right, let's move on to Gemini. I'm going to do a quick shuffle. Gemini, Gemini, you are up. Here we go. No reversals on initial story play. Ah, we got the page here. The page of pentacles. Hmm. Well, why did I just hear no? I don't want it. No. No, <laughs> I just heard no, no, nope, no, 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 no. I heard no, I don't want it. You're very defensive about this. Who's coming in with this tiny cheesy offer? Um, well, Gemini, I feel like you have, there's somebody here in your life who I think was a bad egg. All right. They really did not mean well. Okay. Could have really destroyed you and gave you an upset stomach. Okay. <laughs> it's this bad food, bad sushi. I don't know. I just feel like this energy here of whatever's approaching you, it's small. It's a small gesture. It's like, here's an offer. And you're like, are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? What you put me through? What I like, no, you don't like, you need to turn around. Um, I mean, I feel an unstoppable force of you just saying, get out, go away. No, thanks. I think I feel like you're going to be vocal about this. This isn't like blocking and just never answering. This is someone who's like giving them their piece of their mind. 
I got a Gemini giving somebody a piece of their mind when it comes to whatever they're about to offer here. What is that offer about? Holy moly. Page of Wands. Oh, I want a shot again. I want a shot again. You're like, I know what's in that egg. That ain't a bird. That's a snake. Okay. Page of Wands. You got two pages now. This person's immature. There, there's something about their youth or immaturity that really ticks you off. Because I feel like this person's a grown adult, to be honest, and, or should know better. Ah, oh, yeah. Four cups. No, 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 no. If there's anything more than a no, no, no card, it's this. See, this individual or situation had the chance here to do things right with you. And as far as you're concerned, I feel like you're vocalizing, no, you missed your shot. No, there is no opportunity. <laughs> I also feel like you are bouncing back what this person, this person burned you, didn't they? They burned you. You got totally burned by this person, Ten of Cups. Nope, you don't see them as family. You don't see them as a friend. You don't see them as anything. All right. I mean, it's kind of like there's a massive divide here between the two of you. We're not the same person. <laughs> I just hear we're not the same person. Um, so dissatisfied, so disgusted. Uh, you know what? This is this is a soulmate energy, though. Ten of Cups here. When they when they're reversed, they always ask me to subtract it. So Six of Cups energy is something someone who you have quite a past with. Um, Gemini, this is a person here who, I mean, it could be family member. It could be someone you were married to or, you know, had a commit or have a commitment with. But like, if it's not married, it's long term. But there was a lot of memories here created. Um, and this person had ample amount of opportunity to set things right. And they didn't. They just didn't. What advice here do we have here for this Gemini? I think this is going to be pretty short and sweet for Gemini. Ace of Cups. Look at this. King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Seven of Cups. Oh. Page of Cups. Man. You almost have all pages here. The only one we're missing is... Um, the page of swords the only one we're missing we have the page of wands here the page of pentacles this is what you're showing this person do you see what i gave you i feel like gemini is saying you see what i gave you i am quite confident neil that what i gave you wasn't reciprocated <laughs> okay i'm quite quite confident here that you made me an option or this was an opportunity here that you missed. And now you're trying to get in my good graces or apologize to me. It's a lot of cups. I feel so upset, annoyed, vocalizing. I feel angry. Seven and the eight of cups here. This is going. Peace out. The ace of cups is a loving card unconditional love but there's a dove here it's ha making peace spirit saying listen you not everybody's going to have a shot here to have their peace or to make peace but this is your shot you can make peace with this all right allow this person just to know flat out you don't have to over explain you don't have to uh, mean this person well but it is what it is the situation and i feel like spirit's reminding you is like be very ginger with this. You don't have to shove it down in someone's face. And even though they did that, this is all about unconditional love. It really is. Um, and you have some new opportunity here, Gemini, that you that has really lit you up. And this person or the scenario is seeing this. You see, this person really missed an opportunity to work with you, be with you, but also to really love the situation for what it was. Um, especially if this is a family dynamic, it's kind of like, we may be related and I'll always love you, but I don't have to spend time with you. I don't have to look upon this. Yeah. One more, one more card for advice here for Gemini. It's that cup energy again. Could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. 
All right. You have a big heart. You do. I do feel like you also have a big mouth right now too. <laughs> so again, your advice here is to keep your emotions in check. The King of Cups here does keep their emotions in check. Check yourself before you wreck yourself is what I heard. Okay. Uh, you don't need to go down the same path as this individual. They, they are, they wreck them own their own self. So you don't have to worry about that. All right, guys, I'm going to move this reading now over to the exclusive area. If you like this reading or you want to check the other placements on your all signs, um, that's the sun, moon, rising and Venus. Come on over to harmoniafriends.com. Look for today's reading. Um, it is recorded today. These are timeless. So whenever you feel guided, there may be messages for you. And there's a whole whole vault of other readings out there for you to check out, too, uh, if you want to play with your intuition. You guys take care. All right, let's see what's going on.